You're listening to When Christians Speak Online Talk Radio, broadcasting out of the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Today's voice crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. When Christians Speak is dedicated to lifting up the name of Christ Jesus and spreading the good news. When Christian Speak Talk Radio is a non-profit ministry, we are dedicated to spreading the gospel of Jesus through our programs and special guests. We exist through the generous support of our listeners. If you are being blessed through this ministry and would like to give a love offering, go to our website and click on our donation page. Your donation will be processed through PayPal. Our prayer is that you may prosper, be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Unto the Lord, for He is good. Yes, He is good. When Christian Speak Talk Radio is a 501c3 nonprofit ministry, so all of your gifts to this ministry are tax deductible. So go out to our website, www.whenchristianspeak.com. Dot com and click on our donation page. Hi, welcome to Spiritual Nuggets of Truth, a division of Wings of Love Women's Ministry that broadcasts biblically based messages that undoubtedly take you to higher spiritual heights. Wings of Love Women's Ministry encourages women to move forward and grow in their personal relationship with Jesus Christ by growing in the knowledge and understanding of the Word of God so they can be healed and restored. We also help women discover and fulfill their God-given purpose so they can minister in their local churches and community. There are many people who want to know what their purpose is in life. Why do they exist? Well, I've developed a home study course called Positioning You to Flow in Your God-Given Purpose. And you'll learn what does God-given purpose mean, what are spiritual gifts, You'll be able to explore and determine your God-given gifts and explore your passions and personality and how to use the greatness that God has deposited in you for God's glory. And you get a free bonus, which is a spiritual gifts test that you can actually take and score to find out specifically what your gifts are. And you can get the home study course by going to my website, wingsoflovewomensministry.org. Click on the shop tab at the top and search for Positioning You, the Flow in Your God-Given Purpose Home Study eCourse. And it's only $45. Again, you can go to my website, wingsoflovewomensministry.org. Click on the Shop tab at the top and search for Positioning You, the Flow in Your God-Given Purpose Home Study eCourse. I know without a doubt, it's going to help you. Spiritual Nuggets of Truth with your host, Minister Carmen A. Booker on the When Christian Speak Talk radio network. Welcome to our teaching program, Spiritual Nuggets of Truth. Today our message is entitled, A Lasting Grip. We grab hold of things that are temporary, things that last only a short period of time. They are here today and gone tomorrow. But God wants us to hold on to those things that are everlasting. His word, his promises and covenants. Since God is eternal, the Alpha and Omega, he's always here, always there to meet our need. If we will take hold of his word and plant it in our hearts and minds, Romans 12, 2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. 
Joshua 1 8 says, That this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So when we meditate on the word of God, we'll have a prosperous and successful life. And that's an ongoing process. It's very important, very essential that the word be rooted and grounded in our hearts because out of the heart flows all the issues of life. If our heart is pure, then pure thoughts, pure concepts, pure actions will flow from it. But if our heart is impure, then it is tainted by corrupt thoughts and ideas that are perpetuated in the world, then wicked and evil will flow from it. We must constantly purify our hearts and minds by washing them with the word, by reading and meditating on the word of God. And this is the process of renewal. As we renew our hearts and minds, our thoughts, attitudes, and actions are renewed and will line up with the Word, will line up with Jesus Christ. That is, our thoughts and actions will become Christ-like. Our main goal as Christians, as disciples of Jesus, is to line up with the Word of God in our thoughts, words, and actions because as Christians, we are God's ambassadors, His representatives. So we must talk and act like Jesus. Suppose you sent someone out to represent your company at a conference, but they were supposed to know the intricate details of the company's products. However, at the conference, they could not explain how the products worked. Well, it's obvious that he was not a good representative of the company because he didn't have understanding of the use of the products. The same principle applies to our relationship with God as his representatives. We must come into a full knowledge and understanding of God, of his word, if we are to be his re best representative. And we come into this knowledge and understanding by constantly seeking the presence of God, by quieting ourselves and thinking about God and his word, by knocking at the doors of truth, knowledge, and understanding where blessings await us. And we also come into this knowledge and understanding by constantly asking God to strengthen us spiritually, physically, and emotionally. You know, Matthew 7, chapters 7 through 8 says, Keep on asking and it will be given you. Keep on seeking, and you will find. Keep on knocking, and the door will be open to you. For everyone who keeps on asking receives, and he who keeps on seeking finds. And to him who keeps on knocking, the door will be open. So it's very important to be consistent. Keep seeking the Lord. Keep knocking at the doors of truth and knowledge and understanding, and asking God, and you will find God. The doors will be open. But you have to be sure that your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. And that rock is Jesus Christ. I'd like to read a poem I wrote called Anchor of Hope. Anchor of Hope. God is our hope, so don't be downtrodden like a dope. Hold your head up high like an eagle in the sky. The directions of an eagle are four. Spread your wings of faith and soar. Soar to heights thought unreachable by your mind and greater understanding and revelation of the Word of God you will find. Love, joy, and peace will dwell, and move you on the path of righteousness well. I've also written a book entitled Seeking the Face of God, which will undoubtedly usher you into the presence of God, and it will motivate you to trust God's Word more and more, so that it becomes your anchor in the midst of trials and tribulations. Thank you. Thank you for listening to Spiritual Nuggets of Truth. We hope that you've been encouraged by the message. And I've written a new book to help you discover how valuable you are to God. It's entitled, You Are God's Masterpiece. And I will send you the ebook as a gift when you make a donation to help us to continue to teach the Word of God via radio that's transforming the lives of men and women for the glory of God and helping people move forward and experience healing and restoration knowing that the good work that God has begun in them, he will complete. It is our way of saying thanks for your partnership in this ministry that is changing lives around the world. Please go to our website, wingsoflovewomensministry.org, and click the Donation Partnership tab at the top. Or you can email us at wingsoflove833 at gmail.com. Thank you, and God bless you.